we found across all of the states there are disparities, particularly around mortality. So Aboriginal people are getting cancer about the same rate as other people in Australia, but then with certain types of cancers, they're getting them at a higher rates, and they tend to be the poorer prognosis cancers. And, and, but even despite the fact of the type of cancer, there's still higher mortality rates, and that's something we're looking into. But one of the key factors that I found is that I wasn't able to relate um, to, the, to, the, to the staff, uh, and that, I found that was a cultural barrier, and our culture goes way back for, for thousands and thousands of years as, as the indigenous people of this country. We could have had a more um, Aboriginalised um, worker, like a cancer care worker, Aboriginal cancer care worker, where they can help you, as Jasmine says, to navigate through all the possibilities of how you could get help when you are undergoing cancer treatment, how you could understand it better. And for me, living in the city, uh, it was just transport, basic transport I couldn't access because I did not know the lack of information around that. Uh, it just created a whole lot of other issues that uh, maybe I should have been concentrating more on my health rather than on how to get to get my, uh, have my treatment. This is a partnership project funded by um, an NHMRC <coughs> partnership grant. So we have partners in the Cancer Council, SA Health, Breast Screen SA that is, and SA Cancer Services, the Aboriginal Health Council, the Big Cancer Project, and um, we are working with those partners closely so that we can see some change in the system in policies and we're informing the statewide cancer care control plan in that way. Um, this study is called the Cancer Data and Aboriginal Disparities Project, so we're looking at the epidemiological data, so the statewide data, and also stories from people who've been through the system. So we have found similar things to what Andy Ross is saying, and a multitude of other issues um, around barriers and gaps in supportive care is one of the main factors that can make a huge difference in outcomes for people, making sure that they get to treatment, make sure they finish treatment, and the coordination of that treatment is key to that. Traditional Aboriginal people in, in the uh, rural and remote areas, they have to leave their homelands to come down and access uh, 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 chemotherapy and, ra and radiation down here in the hospital with no family support, no one to help them with the language barriers, uh, no one to just you know, support them in going in for the treatment, which is all very um, uh, alien to them. They go and when they're up in their homelands, they go and have bush treatment. They'll go and sit down by a, a tree and you know look for a plant to help them. Down here, they're just going through the corridors, and that you know it just um, I don't know how some of them do it. We really need someone down here to help them.